Hey guys, clearly I've gotten all ready for my day and I'm really pretty. Just, just kidding. I'm having a healthy start to my morning. I'm having some frost flakes with um, just regular milk. Mm. This is an intro to a vlog and I'm vlogging because today I actually have absolutely nothing to do. So I was kind of curious to see like how my day would go. I haven't had absolutely nothing to do in a while. I've had either going to like a real estate meeting because I'm assisting on a sale or just like a lot of random errands. Like yesterday, I was at the UPS store for like an hour. I had um, a doctor's appointment in the morning. I had to drop off packages. I don't know, I don't remember. All I know is I left my house at 10 a.m. yesterday and I wasn't back until 5 p.m. So if I don't have actual work, I just have a bunch of errands all the time. And today I have absolutely nothing, which is kind of weird. <coughs> I slept in, well, kind of. I woke up at 9 a.m. and then I checked the weather and I saw that today was actually gonna be kind of warm. 70 degrees, it's been like low 50s and cold. So I really wanna try to get some sun today because I'm so gross and pale. So I was laying in bed until then because like I said, nothing to do. And right now it's almost 12 p.m. So when it gets to 12, I'm gonna go change into a bathing suit. I'm gonna go tan. I'll see you guys later. I've been sitting on the toilet trying to poo for like a half an hour. And this is day five of not being able to poop. So I'm just gonna be bloated in my bikini. I felt like poop hit me while I was eating my Frosted flakes, but I guess it was a false alarm. Okay, I'm just wanted to update you guys. All right, in case you guys are curious about my swimsuit, I'm just wearing like not a thong one. I'm wearing a black strapless one and yeah. Also, I let my body tan when the UV is not that bad without sunscreen. I don't want to hear it, but I never ever ever let my face or neck really like directly touch the sun. So I load up on the sunscreen on my face and my neck. Okay, see out there. Um, I, I can't see what this is filming because of the sun, but I genuinely forgot how um, boring tanning can be. I set a timer while I was lying on my back and the timer just went off and now I have to do the same thing lying on my stomach and I forgot how boring tanning is because I can't even watch like YouTube videos or anything because I can't see. So I'm like really bored. I look a mess. Okay, I was on my stomach for like 15 minutes. I just, I was so bored I couldn't do it. And it wasn't even like that hot or anything. I just, like I said, I was just really bored and I just couldn't do it anymore. I forgot to put my cereal bowl away. God damn it. I'm gonna do the dishes. Okay, so yesterday I made this like, fuck this cinnamon roll monkey bread type of situation. And once I turned off the oven, I forgot it was in there until like one in the morning. It just randomly popped into my head and that's when I took it out. So it's very much very hard, but like the inside is still very soft and bread-like. So I'm gonna try to scrape away the hard parts and salvage what I can of this because it's still good and I'm not just gonna waste a shit ton of like stuff like this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna take this knife. Do you see that? Like it just, like you can see how hard it is. It's so hard, but then in here, like it's still bread-like and soft. So I'm gonna try to salvage those parts of it. And it's like monkey bread, not like actual bread and loaf. So it can be kind of cut randomly and badly because monkey bread is like pull apart bread anyway. So nothing about it is very structured. I'm gonna take a spatula and try to scoop. Okay. Here's one section of it. Okay, now we're just gonna see which parts are salvageable from this one section. Okay, well now I have to 
to actually get out of my house, which means I have to kind of get myself a little more put together. So I'm really just gonna wash my face, wipe off my armpits, I'll do that right now. Put some more deodorant on, maybe throw on a little bit of makeup just cause today I'm really not feeling very confident. So I'm gonna do that and then put on some real clothes and then go get Moo and then go to Trader Joe's to get the stuff I need to get and then come back home and have nothing to do again. I completely forgot that I was vlogging, but um, I, whoa, what the fuck? I just finished at Trader Joe's where I just got two of those pre-made lemon pepper chickens. I got um, a box of like their vegan gluten-free cookie mix. I got these chips that I really want to try. And what else did I get? Did I get anything else? Oh, and I got some like baby russet potatoes. Russet. I really hope that's how you say that. Okay, and then I got a strawberry acai lemonade from Starbucks. Bye! This is also the first time that I've ever gotten these salt and pepper chips, potato chips from Trader Joe's. And holy shit, they're so good. Mmm! So fucking good. They're so good. I can easily finish this family size bag in one sitting. All right, I'm here to get Moo. Hi guys. Hi. Mommy. 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 Elsie. Elsie, mommy. Mommy. All right, I'm finally home and I'm going to work out. Okay, shocker, I know, but I'm already regretting the decision. I was gonna do cardio. Will I do cardio? I probably should do cardio. I don't know. I'll come back once I figure out whether or not I'm gonna do cardio. I'm not gonna do cardio. Before I start this, I also my garage is like, there's a lot of packages here for my mom's remodel upstairs. so. It's gonna look very clustered, but before I start working out, I saw this thing on TikTok. TikTok. I saw this thing on TikTok this morning that I really want to try. It was like how to do um, something spread, a deltoid spread. No, it was something about like the back muscles spreading, looking weird. So I'm gonna try it. They said to hold back like you're doing a row, and then take your thumbs and push into your spine. And then take your elbows out. Can I do it? Okay, that was like almost right, but it's supposed to look more extreme than that. Let me try again. Okay. So you pull it back and take your thumbs, press into your spine, and you like pull the skin while you're like. So I actually didn't finish my list of workout stuff that I wanted to do. I didn't do abs, I didn't do cardio. Cardio was on my list. And I didn't do like 
maybe two more exercises. I was honestly just done. I don't want to do it anymore. But now I'm going to shower. And then after that, Rob's coming over tonight. I'm gonna, I said tonight with an accent. Rob's coming over tonight. And I'm gonna prepare a dinner for us. Hey guys, I know this is gross to talk when I'm out of school with toothpaste, but I truly have no time. I have no time to wait to stop brushing my teeth. Um, yesterday I completely forgot to continue vlogging, so I'm so sorry. So today's the next day. Today is now Thursday. I'm resting because I actually had therapy in like 30 minutes. I woke up late, so I gotta, it's a virtual, so I don't have to go anywhere, but still. It's actually not therapy, it's psychiatry because I'm getting medication management for my mental health issues. I'll see you after that. Alright, let's just chit chat while I do my makeup. What am I doing my makeup for? I don't know. I just finished, it's not therapy, what do you call it? Psychiatry? But I just finished my um, meeting with my psychiatrist and we're just... Um, we're just gonna start like a new sort of medication routine. Um, I think the old one just wasn't working for me and she also gave me something new for situational anxiety. And I'm kind of excited because I honestly never admitted to anybody until now that I have anxiety. And every time that I was feeling anxious in the past, in the past being before this last month, um, Anytime I was anxious, I would kind of just keep it to myself and try to internally deal with it, which was always very, very difficult. And it made me spiral out of control inside my head and then occasionally make me lash out at people who don't deserve it, who are just innocent bystanders. Yeah, and I feel like it's very like, what the fuck are you talking about? You have anxiety to a lot of people in my life, especially my boyfriend and family members, because like I said, I've never mentioned that I deal with this before and um, I'm 23 now. 
So for my whole life so far, they're just used to me like either making jokes about bad situations or just kind of not talking about certain things that struggle that I struggle with. So they don't even know that I struggle with it. So this is kind of all new to them just as much as it's new to me. Well, anxiety is not new to me, but like actually dealing with it and trying to get help for it is new to me. So it's kind of just like a new situation for everyone. But I'm, I'm excited to start this medication because I'm excited to not feel like I'm about to shit my pants every time something comes up. Cause I get anxious about like the dumbest things. My anxiety comes with a lot of physical symptoms as well. Not just like spiraling inside my head. Like I get palpitations, I sweat, I sweat excessively. Um, my stomach feels like how it feels when you drop on a roller coaster. I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants and I get really flustered and I stumble on my words. So those are my physical symptoms, so fun. In the past, the way I would deal with my anxiety was I would, well, okay, so when I get anxious about something or like something's coming up and I'm progressively getting more and more anxious until that thing happens, I just get inside my own head and I have to like think out the situation from beginning to end relentlessly. Like that's how my anxiety sort of takes place. Should I put on some foundation? Maybe not foundation, but maybe I'll put on some baby cream. I know it may not seem like it because I'm really bad at it, but I genuinely really love vlogging. I've mentioned this so many times that I'm gonna mention it again. Like just having something to look back on, even if it's the most mundane day of my life, like today and yesterday, I just love being able to like look back on these videos and like, I don't know, kind of live in the past because I do really like to live in the past. Like it's bad, living in the past is bad for some situations, but I feel like in a situation where I'm just kind of appreciating my life through video, even if there are moments that have already passed, there's nothing really wrong with that. And that's exactly what my vlogs do for me. They just allow me to like look at my life from different moments in time and just like really appreciate what I have, you know? I've also noticed that like the camera makes my skin look a lot worse than it actually is. Cause then I like look at myself in the mirror and I have a ring light, so it's not like the lighting in the mirror is drastically different from the one in the camera. And the mirror me looks a lot better than this me. Doing my makeup is also like a really good source of anxiety relief. Just like taking the time to paint my face. It's so fun for me and it's so calming and relaxing because I usually do it with a YouTube video in the background. So it's just really relaxing for me. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that now. Sorry vlog, I'm gonna put on a YouTube video, bye. Outfit of the day, it's kind of dark, I realize, but I'm wearing these sweats. It's actually a set, so these two go together, but I don't really wanna walk out in front of people in my small town right now with just this, so I threw on another tank top and it says, what does it say? Gymnasium and Sports Co. Okay. You'll never catch me wearing anything other than my Crocs if it's my choice. I'm almost screaming because my AC is on max volume because it's 86 degrees in my car. Anyways, I just went to Jamba Juice where I got a medium strawberry surf rider. This woman is literally watching me talk and I think she thinks I'm talking to myself. Anyways, okay, I also went to Trader Joe's where I picked up a uh, steak for dinner tonight and then I got my medication from Walgreens, I picked up some makeup things and I also got some vitamin C gummies. Here, let's do a little car haul. I got vitamin C gummies, yummy. I needed a new clear eyebrow gel, so I got one of those. This one is Color Stay Brow Fiber Filler in clear from Revlon. And then I also got some Atkins bars. I just got these because sometimes when I'm like not super hungry, but I feel like I should eat something. These are so fucking good. They taste just like a Snickers bar. And then I got two lipsticks because it was two for $19. N degrees seven. I don't know if that's how you um, pronounce this brand, but I got the shade Nutmeg Spice 970 and Berry Blush 710. And then the last thing that I got is the Elf HD powder and sheer because I was running out of my translucent powder for baking and stuff. Now we're gonna go home. I want to try out my lipsticks. So fun. I I have like a patience problem when it comes to makeup. As soon as I buy a makeup or beauty product, I have to try it out. 
So we're gonna go home, do that, and then I'm going to make some cookies, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, we're gonna try the makeup stuff that I just got. Let's try the lipstick. So this one is the Nutmeg Spice. Cute. Okay, I didn't put it on the best, but I really like this. It's funny because yesterday I was literally just thinking about how I wanted to get a red lipstick that was like more wine red rather than bright red because the only red lipstick I have is the Charlotte Tilbury one, it's right here. But like, look how bright this one is. Like, I don't want a bright red lipstick. I just don't think that bright colors look that good on me. So I'm really happy with this and this turned out to be the exact color I wanted. So that's great. There might be like a little bit of residue left, but I don't think it's gonna affect the next color too much. The next one is Berry Blush. I don't really know why I got this. I'm not really into like berry colored lipsticks, but. Okay, well, this lipstick is basically just my lip color with a little bit more pigmentation and maybe just like a little bit darker. So I like both. I'm gonna try to mix them a little bit. I'm just gonna dab the nutmeg on. I'm not good at putting lipstick on because I never fully like put it on because I'm not good at it. And I feel like I just get it to smudge everywhere. How do people get their lipstick to not move? I really like this. Cool. Cool, everything I got I like. Walgreens have great makeup. Don't underestimate it just because it's a little bit cheaper. I mostly get my stuff from Walgreens to be honest um, because I like buying stuff. I like buying stuff, okay. Okay, the cookies I just baked are the Trader Joe's almond flour chocolate chip cookies. They're gluten-free and vegan. Um, I chose this one because my boyfriend's on a diet and I've had these before and so has he. And I swear to God, if I didn't know already like what kind of cookie this was, I never would assume that they're vegan and gluten-free. They're so fucking good. Okay guys, this part's a voiceover, um, just because. So the first thing that was there was a seasoned tray. I always season my tray when I'm doing potatoes because, you know, just the more seasoning around a potato, the better. And then I boiled my potatoes, I cut them in halves, and I just showed you the cookies really quick. But anyways, after I boiled the potatoes, I put them in ice water so that they'd stop cooking. And this is the process of me mashing or smashing the potatoes and i always have a really hard time with this because you know i can never get them to smash perfectly and like the bigger the half or the thicker the cut of the potato the harder it is to smash so this one basically just exploded and i ended up leaving some smashed and some not just because i know robert like can be really particular about his potatoes for some reason and then i also just baked the broccoli in the same oven space as the potatoes. I just did lemon, pepper, salt, and that's it. They're sweet. Yeah. You put like cinnamon or sugar or something. I really like sweet potatoes. You don't. Know. They're good. But you don't like sweet potatoes. Try a different one. They're sweet. Try a different one. They're all sweet. Well, maybe one has different levels of seasoning. You said you put a lot of seasoning on it. Just try a different one. No, so sweet. Okay, whatever. Try this savory. one. It's savory. Just name. Or just, me. just dump it or in hot me. sauce. This looks good. Mm, that's good. No. Okay, now cookie. Excuse me, where are you going? Plans. Can I have broccoli cookie, Rachel? Yes, you could. God damn it. You would. Yeah. Because you're a Neanderthal. Hmm. I really do. Soft. I like that. Okay, Robert went to go shower, so I'm just sitting here with Mo, waiting for my turn to shower. Obviously, there are other showers in this house, but I like using my shower, and so does he. So I'm being kind and letting him shower first. 
we're gonna have dinner after that and we use this thing called movie recommendation engine i always forget the name he has to re remind me every time we use it which is basically every day basically i just google it and it's like the first link that shows up after you google it and it asks you about your mood the genres you're interested in movies um that like what like the preference you have for when they were made um what else do they ask you like rating preferences like pg-13 r g whatever stuff like that so the purpose of this is that we don't like because we don't want to waste time thinking of a movie because w before when we didn't have this movie recommendation engine we would spend so much time trying to come up with a movie to watch and it was always like if i watched it and he hadn't watched it i would be okay with watching it but he wouldn't want to watch a movie i'd already watched and vice versa so with this both of us get one veto and we skip all the movies that either of us have seen it doesn't have to be both of us just either of us and we used up all our vetoes we skipped all the movies that we've seen and today we landed on pompeii made in 2014 and has kit harrington in it so we'll see how it goes we just finished what was it called? We just finished Pompeii. Eh, I would give it like a four out of 10. Rich. Hi guys. I'm trying to pick out a donut that I want to eat. Uh, I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, but I think this two day vlog is enough for all of us, don't you think? So that's it. I'm gonna eat a donut. Oh my God, why is that one so hard? I'm gonna eat a different donut. Wish me luck. Bye, I love you.